Hey guys, I'm back with another GoPro mounting tips and tricks video. In this video, I'm going to be showing how to make a hand grip for your GoPro camera. This is going to screw onto the tripod mount, and it's simply a straight post that it gives you a great way to hold onto your camera if you're free shooting and not mounting the camera onto something. It'll be a lot more stable than actually just trying to hold the camera without any sort of uh, device to make it easier to hold, and uh, gives you some stable video. It also allows you to not cover the LCD screen if you have the LCD screen backpack which is great for uh, free shooting video. The tools we're going to be using today are a screwdriver, a pair of pliers, uh, well actually let's just start here, we'll go through the camera stuff. I got my GoPro, we need a tripod mount, we need a quarter by twenty uh, bolt, this one has a, end, uh, a head on it. We are going to end up cutting the head off but we do need it to get it in to start with so it doesn't matter what head it has so long as it's got one that you can use to screw it in and after that we're going to cut it off. Um, I'm using a stainless steel bolt because I plan to use mine near the water and because of that I don't want it to rust. You can use a steel one if you don't ever plan to get it wet and if it gets moist it will rust. I would recommend using stainless if you can find it and of course we've got the pin or the bolt to hold the GoPro onto the tripod mount. Uh, and then we'll move on. I've got a piece of dowel. This is one inch dowel. I am going to cut it to the certain length that I want so if you have a small piece you only really need about I would say four or five inches of it. And then to cut the dowel, I've got a, a wood saw. You cut it however you want, but you do need to be able to cut it. And then to cut the bolt, I'm using a hacksaw. If you want to use something else other than a hacksaw, like a Dremel, that would work as well. I've got a drill to put a hole into the uh, end of the dowel that the bolt's going to go in. And then to do that, I'm going to be using a 7 30 seconds drill bit. I, it's a quarter inch bolt, a quarter inch bolt, and because I want it to go in tight and be able to uh, stay in there securely, I'm going to be using one size smaller, which is a 7 30 seconds. And then to hold it in permanently, I've got epoxy. Uh, this is some five minute two part epoxy. To mix it, I'm using a chopstick and I'm mixing it onto a little piece of plastic cutout packaging. put the bolt in. I'm using a screwdriver because that's the kind of head mine has. And then when we're finished and I go to cut it off, I need a pair of pliers to help me with that. I've also got a vise to hold down the dowel while I'm cutting it. Okay, the first step for us now is to cut the uh, dowel the length we want. I've decided on mine simply, or I chose my length simply by putting my hand around it and seeing uh, how long I want it to be so that my whole hand would fit on it. I've decided on uh, basically, well as you can see it's right there. So I don't know, that's about four and a half, five inches, I think. I, I could be more precise in measuring it, but frankly, I think this is fine and I, well, it's a perfect eyeball. So it's completely up to you how big you make it, but I've, like I say, mine's gonna be about this big. Then we're just gonna cut it. So I'm starting right here. All right, guys, there we go, that's our this is going to be our handle, so it's going to be held like this. Okay, now that we've got the, the handle post cut off, we're going to put a hole through the, uh, the center of the post that we're going to be making our handle out of to put our bolt into that we're going to put our tripod mount on. To do this, like I said, I'm using a 7 30 seconds drill bit in my drill, and I'm just going to make sure I line my thing up, my drill bit up right in the middle. Just like that. Now we're going to test fit our bolt into the hole. We've got our screwdriver. We'll just go ahead and make sure that it's going to fit. And mine's fitting very well. It's a bit of a snug fit, but that's good because that means the uh, the teeth are going to grip it just fine. So we'll take it out again. And before we put this in for the last time, what we're going to do now is mix up a bunch of epoxy or a little bit of epoxy that I go in the hole with it and make sure that this bolt doesn't turn because if we take the tripod mount off and we end up with this bolt coming out, that's a bit of a problem. We want this to stay attached to this all the time and the tripod mount to come off and on. Okay, so I've got my 5 in epoxy. I'm going to take the cap off it. Squeeze a little bit out onto the, my mixing pad here. Make sure they both come out equally. There we go. Just about. That should be 
plenty. Pull the handle back in so that the epoxy doesn't get stuck in the cap. Make sure the cap goes back on the same way it came off. Otherwise, you will end up with hard epoxy and then your tube won't work anymore. Get out your mixing stick, mix the two parts together, and then starting from this point, uh, you have the amount of working time of your epoxy. Mine is a five minute cure, or five minute working time. Cure is in about an hour. Now that our epoxy is mixed up, we're gonna get our bolt and our epoxy, and we're gonna put a little bit of the epoxy on the end, and then up the first quarter of the, the bolt, as well as if we can, we'll try and get some in the hole. If you're worried about the excess that you're getting around the outside of it, it won't be a problem once it's hardened it. All right, so now we've got our epoxy on our bolt. We're gonna go ahead and put that into the hole. Get it in my fingers for starters, and then I'll get my screwdriver here, and we will. Uh, as for the size of the bolt, I'm using, I believe it's a two and a half inch bolt. Maybe it's a three. Um, it's too big. It's with the size that I had around kicking around when I was going to make this. But if I was going to the hardware store to buy one, I would probably get something about no bigger than two inches, maybe an inch and a half. Uh, it is nice to have quite a bit inside the post, but you don't need this much. This is a lot. Once we get it down towards the end, I'm stopping with about five or six threads still showing, sticking out. That's important because we need to be able to cut this off and get a good clean cut cutting it off uh, with still about three threads remaining inside or on the uh, the post side of it. If I have a couple extras, it gives me a little bit more of an eyeball room there when I'm cutting it off. Now we're going to let this set and of course I'm using 5-minute epoxy so it'll take me about 5 minutes to stop working and it should I should give it probably 2-3 to three times that long before I do anything more with it. In the meantime, I can get a a paper towel or some sort of cloth and I can clean up the excess epoxy that's around the edge. If you want to use anything like acetone or something that'll eat through this stuff pretty quick and do quite a nice job of cleaning it all up. But for me, the cloth seems to be working just fine. So that's dealt with. And then we gotta wait for the epoxy to dry and when we come back we will cut this off. Well, the magic of video editing my epoxy is now set and I'm ready to go ahead and cut off the bolt. Now it's important that there are no more than three threads left on this side of the of the mount. Um, it's if you have more than that the bolt will bottom out into the tripod mount and that's really not good. You want the uh, the tripod mount to rest against this before it bottoms out the bolt bottoms out inside the tripod mount. Um, I'm going to be using, I'm going to just eyeball it here, and I'm going, there's one thread, two threads, three threads. I'm going to go put mine right there. This will give me two, uh, two in most places, and probably three in a couple others. Yeah, so this is where I'm going to go. Mine, and I'm just going to go ahead and slowly take my time and cut through the bolt. Once I get close to the end, I'm going to stop cutting, get out my pliers, break this off just like that. Now, the one tool I forgot to mention at the beginning of the video was a file. You do need a file, especially if you're using a hacksaw because it does tend to leave little rough uh, burrs on the cut, which really isn't good if you're... Uh, well, you'll cut your fingers on it and it won't fit in the tripod mount very well. So you do need a file. You need to take off the rough edges. And then now you can see that it's very smooth around the edges. I'm not going to cut my fingers on it. And I'm not going to get the tripod mount caught on it when it's going in. Alright guys, so if you look at this closely, you can see that there's about three threads showing for most of the, most of the mount. It's, uh, there we go. There's some focus. Um, that's all we really need to put the tri for the tripod. That's all the tripod can have sticking out when it has to go on. And I'll put the tripod mount on now and you can see what happens. So as I go ahead and screw the tripod mount on, what you'll see happens is that the it actually bottoms out on the on the wood below it before 
the tripod, the screw bottoms out inside the tripod mount. This gives us a really solid connection. It also makes sure that it's way more level, and this is it, it's just a way, way better way to make to do it. So if you are having the tripod screw bottoming out, I would recommend that you cut a little bit more off, or somehow try to uh, screw the bolt into the mount a little bit more. All right, so there's our finished tripod handle grip. You can see that the hand can grab it just like this, and it'll work very, very well for any sort of camera mounting where we want to be free holding it or holding onto it freely and pointing it at different things. To mount the camera on it, we simply put our GoPro into the tripod mount, screw the tripod mount in, and of course, if you ever want to use your tripod mount for something else, you simply unscrew this from the tripod mount. And it makes almost it makes a perfect little handle depending on what you want to point it at. So if you like I was saying, if you want to use it to free hold or point at different things, this is a great way to do that. As you can see I've got the the LCD screen on the back of the camera. This is great when I'm uh, free pointing it or free shooting with it because I can actually see what I'm filming. Uh, a couple of tips for this are normally when I'm using this I like to change my view or the field of view especially on the Hero 2 when you can change it to uh, narrow so it's only like a hundred uh, ninety I believe it's ninety degree view field field of view which makes for a lot more um, well it's a more crop shot which is nicer when you're free holding it because things tend to be farther away and that kind of uh, has the effect of zooming in on things a little bit so compared to shooting wide. If you shoot wide you'll find that your subjects you're videoing are very very far away so I'd recommend using narrow with this especially the first couple times you play with it and then after that I experiment. Make sure you just experiment with it and have fun and this was how to build a GoPro handle mount for yeah for your camera for very little money using simply a piece of dowel and a bolt. Thanks for watching guys and until next time check out my channel make sure you subscribe and thanks for watching.